It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. This fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 158 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Big kick land. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night that landed.
Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Uppercut there blocked by Lee. now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Cable pitches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, that's a nice strike. He loaded up there on that high kick. Once again, looking for that highlight nice. reel KO with that front kick. Oh, nice. All right, single collar tie now. Cable in. Where is it lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Pretty good right hand. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Beautiful kick. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker and have such a pronounced edge in reach. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Wait up. I know oh, that's gonna the score. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. That one was starting to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, combination lands. You wanna talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Final seconds. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge blow. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Able to check that kick as well. Great punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Chin held up. 
His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Get the turtle in that kick. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Jab hurt him a little bit. Right up the elbow. Body can land. Keep your hands up. Use your water now. It's okay. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, big left hand there. Connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Stuffs the tape down there. How good is his tape? They say the straight boots are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, and he gives up his back here, DC. I know you've never had your back taken in the UFC. You've never been submitted. Uh, but this is not a good spot for the defensive fight. It's not a very good spot for him, but the guy on the bottom needs to stay patient. He cannot panic. He needs to find a way to get back to his back. Lay on his mat. He's got to get his back back to the mat. He has to get his back back to the mat so then he can start to work on his defensive transition. You don't want a guy like this who's so good at controlling his position just on top of you and riding you. Take your time, but get back to your back and start to try to recover your half up. Please kick his blocks. So a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Relax, relax. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab. Right hand hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. All right, well, his hooks have been a big storyline in this one, and there it is again. So just when you thought maybe the opponent had made the requisite adjustments, he gets cracked again. He gets cracked again, and it does not take many of those hooks to end your night. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice strike. Both guys really throwing with authority. Nice display of technique by him there on the side kick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the US. Lands flush with that right hand. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, he's out! Goodness, what a fight. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, 
Chico! Watch, there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.